Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when you are watching this. And I don't know why I have got into weird noises, but welcome back to Timber and Stone. We are now in 1.3, and so there are quite a few nifty little tweaks and bug changes and fixes and additions that have been made. Uh, the first one to bring to your attention is the nice new indicator at the top here. So I've paused the game currently, I've now returned the game to normal. But very usefully, if there's ever a tedious and boring thing going on that I don't need to control, I can now fast forward time. Especially going to be useful for me because I have a number of... Well, there's two major blocks of time in the evening or at night when everyone's sleeping pretty much. I can now skip forward through that bit. There are a few other additional things we'll have a look at. Is this tree going to be chopped? Not yet. Quite a few skeletons hanging around out here. This is possibly due to the new enemy mechanic where they will track towards people more sort of directly and aggressively. So because this is obviously where all of my people are, I have a lot of enemies hanging around. But actually, this is a bit of a blessing in disguise because skeletons... Skeletons will now... I don't know what that was. Skeletons will now... Oh. <laughs> Everything's freezing. Skeletons will now attack other enemies. So they will attack the goblins and they will attack perhaps spiders, I'm not sure. And they will attack wolves and things. So that means that because they're on my road, all of the goblins that were up here that have been walking down have been killed. There's an example of one here, I think. Oops. So here we have a dead goblin having been killed by the skeletons as they were wandering around. So they will self-contain, self and they don't seem to follow the road. So they're all hanging here, but they don't follow the road into my base. Although that guy appears to be actually following the road. So at the moment, I have a respite for my defenders. What level are you, James? I've also fixed the weird glitch where you they wouldn't fire an arrow for like 10 or 15 goes. Every time he pulls the trigger, now, really? I watched you do this flawlessly earlier, and the second I'm talking about it in my video, you do it twice. Three times. You idiot. Oh, I thought that glitch was done, but apparently I'm wrong. Uh, you're just level 10 now, are you? That's good. So let's let's bring you up. Let's bring you up here and have a have a go at a few of these skeletons. What weapon have I got? What arrows have you got? It's fine. You've got stone tip ones. Actually, that's a good point to, at this point. Let's uh, have a look at the new flaming arrow. So, carpenter of my friend, make make a crop load of those. And then we will have a play with the flaming arrow. Nope, not that one, that one. If we bring you to here. I know, I've, I've brought them up here deliberately. So we now have the flaming arrow. I'm not sure if... Is it what? Yes. I'm not sure what effect the flaming arrow has on skeletons. But let's see what it does. Oh! Sucks to be you! Now, that fire appears to be spreading. Um, I, I might I might not have thought this through very well. You are proving to be a very terrible shot for a level 10 archer. Um, let's stop you wasting our arrow. Another one. You got the stone ones. So the glitch of you not firing any arrows still exists. I thought that was fixed. I was wrong. You are a terrible shot for someone who's a level 10 archer. I'm a little bit concerned about how the fire goes out.
You're just not being very productive at all. glitch that I thought was fixed is not fixed which means unfortunately there is still a lot of problems to be had. Wow those flaming arrows are a bit devastating to the scenery aren't they? Well you're proving to be totally and utterly inept. Probably because of the game but not necessarily because of Wow, that fire is, is... I don't know what those arrows are made of, but they burn. They burn hard. I'm guessing some sort of fire... Fire engine? Um, fireman class. It's going to need... It'll be interesting to see if this passes through my wall. Which it looks like it is going to. That's bad, because if it... Uh-oh. Yep, it's moved inside the castle. So fire passes through walls. Which I'm fairly confident that's not how fire works. Oh, it, and it's going to keep going, isn't it? How do you put out a fire? Are you just wasting arrows? You had 70, you've now got 57. 57 arrows. What is going on? You're not anywhere near as effective. Holy crap. How do you put a fire out? This is bad. This is very bad. Um, I'm guessing you're not going to have... No, no fire, man. Where are you going now? Oh, good. You decided to wander off. Hmm. Fire is bad. I'm heavily in the process of, as you can see, retrofitting my front to build my whole entire new defensive entrance. Just take all the dirt, might as well take advantage of the fact that dirt is useful. Okay, scribble that off. What else have we got in 1.3 that I can talk about? Ah yes! Where's my wood chopper man? Something which is going to be very useful. Where are you? You're not set to wait in hall and idle. Have you just finished up on a tree? Yeah, you should be waiting in hall and idle. Mostly, though, I want to take advantage of a new feature. So, whenever you chop a tree, there's now a chance that you could get a sapling. I have one. Phew! And it allows you now to plant trees. So, I've got three saplings I've already planted when I first realized I had some. So let's plan another one. Let's fast forward time. Let's bring him in. Come on, slow and steady wins the race. There he is. And so my wood chopper can now plant trees. So I can build a managed forest, and hopefully, I don't know how close they can be, but I can build this area full of trees, and I can have a nice, controllable forest that I have. Why are you not chopping that tree? There you are. Nice managed forest that I can keep track of. Oh good, the fire's gone out. Whew! That is pretty, pretty devastating. You don't really want to use those fire arrows. 
to defend your base. You kind of need to use those on the offense. Go in and attack some goblins and just set some fires because they are pretty, pretty destructive. Didn't kill any skeletons, to be honest. The one that it hit and set on fire just shook it off. And then again, I don't think bone is particularly flammable anyway. So it's probably uh, not too surprising. But yeah, don't mess with the flame arrows. And also, don't give my archer stone arrows to fire a skeleton because he'll just fire nearly thirty, uh, nearly th thirteen arrows without killing a single skeleton. Hmm. So, what else can I talk about? What else is new? There is a new enemy type, the necromancer. Um, I'm hoping I don't have one. Necromancer's main purpose is to summon more skeletons and I think he can set fire things as well which is not great I don't actually know what he looks like or she looks like or it looks like so I'm scanning them up looking for one but don't actually know what it is it doesn't appear to be any goblins either so the skeletons have clearly wiped out all of the goblins off my map so they have totally brutalized the goblins I am hoping the herder bug is a skeleton there hoping the herder bug has been fixed so I can when I usually use this area here as my new herdy base well I've got a little bit more sorted out start to collect any useful animals in the vicinity the focus being on chickens which is the one here that's good and again I probably need another migrant in order to do that Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where are the rest of my miners? Have they gone back down into this underground mine? An underground mine where I have a bit of wall which... Th what? Three? A bit of wall here which cannot be mined. You're my permanent underground miner. You're my temporary. You're my fisherman that I don't need at the moment. You should be back up here. I need to get this area cleaned out as fast as possible. That's my focus, is I want to get the new the new keep built. Foster, you can come as well. Get all this cleared out and I can build the new new entrance to my castle. Keep everyone safe. Whoops. somewhere more more productive really it's Annabelle currently a trader yes let's put you back to infantry give you everything you need and a nice big sharp sword And then bring you out here as well. You can be the bridge defender, you can be the road defender. I set the guard position already. Will that automatically mean that's your guard position? Will that work? So, mental note don't give either of these guys flaming arrows because I'll just set fire to everything in here which would be very bad. Yay, my three saplings are now full grown trees. That's cool. Oop, a lot of screen tearing then. Was that a ruined tree? Did I not see a tree catch fire? That's cool. It's a fire to the whole forest. Just to watch it burn. Oh yes. I like this as well. A little dude sleeping. He's got some Z's coming out of his head. I enjoyed that when I first saw it. That was fun. 1 point breathe. 1.3. The home of the Z's. 
I think the main purpose of Robert's release of 1.3 is to make the game harder by adding more difficult enemies because there's now different types of skeletons, different types of I think it's wolves and wolf riders and all sorts of things like that. There is different weaponry as well. I don't think I've got any built any. So let's have a look at a build a bronze glaive. Stoneforge. What? You, you, you had wood. What? I don't understand what you just did. Oh, his helmet's run out. I don't understand. It said successfully crafted and then didn't appear on my list. Oh, let's go save now. It's pretty mean looking. It's most effective apparently against mounted enemies. So if I do start to get any mounted goblins, oh excuse me, oh long day. If I do get any mounted goblins, that'll be the weapon to attach or equip to my infantry personnel. But for now, I think the steel broadsword is the way forward. Annabelle stopped there because no, my thoughts and desires for the guard position being where the destination is, not where she's currently stood, is not the case. So that's your guard position then, Annabelle. Protecting anything that comes down here. The game is getting dark. I'm very concerned about the fact that it will soon be very difficult for anyone to see. There is a bug or glitch in the game, which is not a good glitch. Is, is my lights on? When these lights come on, I'll show you, because it's ridiculous. Um, but Robert has already fixed that, so if you download it, the only reason I haven't downloaded the new client is because it's 100 meg, and that'll take me about two hours to download on my thimble full of internet. So I have to play with what I've got. Where am I staying, Mason? What are you building? Bricks. You can build those few bricks with some wood. Sort yourself out, knock yourself out. Now that we've got a manageable forest, oops, now we've got a manageable forest, we should be alright. Why aren't the lights turned on? Oh yeah, it's fast forward time till the lights come on. Hey, so that's our lights, nice and bright and happy for everyone. If we escape, Go into options and switch to per vertex lighting. Ah, crazy brightness. Crazy, crazy, crazy brightness. Nothing but bright blinding light that no one can see through. So if you are someone that plays with per vertex rather than per pixel, just be aware that there is a bug in the very early version of the client which needs to be replaced with the new version of the client that fixes that bug. Okie dokie, so this was just intended as an intro video into 1.3. Um, I'll obviously carry on playing and carry on producing episodes, waiting for the arrival of some enemies and some changes and the effects. In my downtime, I'm still going to continue to fix this front edge. I think my current plan is to build a large sort of killing zone here and then have a wall that extends all the way along the edge to the bridge so that there's no way for the goblins to get round the beach or round the back because they can swim now so I am although they shouldn't swim on their own they only swim in, they only swim to chase they can get round the edges so I want to have 
the the tower a tower here so that if I need to I can move my archers from my killing box to here to protect this edge and remove all of this wall pretty much and expand and expand myself and start to make use of the moat then in future episodes start on the same on the other side so build the moat down to here so that basically I have to channel the enemies as best I can and hopefully that big giant spider boss lady leaves me alone for a few episodes just so I can get myself nice and prepared and protected as ever, I hope you're enjoying the episode. Uh, a comment down below is always welcome. I enjoy communicating with you guys, talking to you about what's going on, answering your questions, etc. So please leave us a comment, as ever, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now, guys.